just put progress after progress you need to specify um the bar so that's under div class progress bar yes so space so put area area volume now as in the active value and value value now 70 so area minimum value minimum so minimum of the value zero area max value max maximum of the value 100 then let's tie this by putting width the width of this thing should be 70 percent it follows value and volume and value now okay so we check now we specify that progress but what's our progress bar area value now 70 area value mean that minimum value zero maximum value 100 so let's check this wow if we check you see it remains small you know it's like 70 here it's truly like 70 so that is a simple way to do a progress bar and what if you want to change the color or you want to add text to it let me add text just put 70 percent complete you can see there so and if you want to let me break this in so that you can see it very well if you check this color if you want to change color this is progress bar space put that progress bar again and put success that will be green put danger you see put warning we have different color you can see so that is a simple way to deal with um bootstrap progress bar okay okay what if you want to add like three things together and that your bootstrap and that your progress bar well, what are you going to do let's let's do it like this um let's start from okay let's start from here or oh, let me start from the beginning from the beginning so do it like this div class progress yes div class progress bar progress bar success after that style the width should be for let's use 40 percent okay what are you going to do here let me hide uh, messages i'm true with this one i can let me copy this please and paste it here this one should be primary this should be that one is 40%, this one is 30%, the next one I want it to be 30%, that is 100%. This one is, let's say, charts. And this one, the danger. Storage. That should be 30%. 30%, 30%, percent that's 60% plus 40%, that's 100%. Let's refresh. You can see, it means now by this one is, it looks like a, a graph stuff whereby you know you indicate that this is long is many than this one than this one this one and this one they are the same width but this one is long okay so 
The next one now is to do a simple pagination in Bootstrap. After this, let me let me wipe everything. Okay, let me add the break so that what you are doing will come to the center. Okay. Now, what do you understand by pagination? You know, in some websites, some blog, we have uh, maybe a list of items whereby it, uh, you need to press next. How you need to press page two, page three before you can see the rest content. Okay. So how can you now do it in Bootstrap? Let's let's put it inside your good class pagination here. Then li. The first LI, you know, we have link. So the link should be first page, close it. Let me copy this. First page, second page, third, third page. So let's see how it will look like on our browser. Are we still having, um, oh, sorry. We are still having bath here. So remove this. So you can see three is too much. Yes, you can see that it is look it looks like first page, second page, third. If you click on this, click on this, click on this. So this is how to do a pagination and to not prevail to show. Maybe this one you want this one to be active. It means you are on page two, uh, page one. Put class active. That's all. You can see class active. So that one looks like active one. So and if you want it to be disabled, what you would do disabled. You can see. It shows red that means I can't click on it and if you want to resize it just put pagination small you know now small this will be small LG large this will be big see okay okay now you know in some websites uh, you will see okay this is what I want to maybe in a site like this you're on um, product page now they will not show you where you are coming from they will tell you uh, you come from home they put um, greater than there they will tell you that you enter um, shopping greater than they show that you enter the product so how can i not do it they call it breadcrumb so how you not do that in uh, bootstrap so you use ul again class that is bread chrome so here we have you oh sorry li inside li we have a history so let me say you are coming from home. The second one, you enter um, shop shopping. You enter view products. So close that your area. Let's see how this will display. You can see it means you are from home there here. So here is the active place. So let me make it active by putting a class active. Active. Don't let me put then don't let me give this one a that active one. Let me remove it. Active. Yes, it means I can go back here, go back here, it has a link, it has a, but this one does not have a link, it's active, please. So this is where I am now. So this is what's called a breadcrumb. So it will show you direction of where you are coming from. Okay, now what is...